Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 with my laptop mic, except it's just the intro. The rest of the video is great. So, but it's late and I have to work tomorrow and the mic is hidden, which is a terrible design plan in this vehicle that I am doing this intro from. So, <laughs> uh, but I hope you all enjoy the video and the actual video will start in a moment. Okay, young Gortash's plan to enslave an illiterate elder brain and make it our marionette under control of Crown of Karsus has proceeded almost without flaw, barring the slight delay while our ballast allies sort out their leadership conflict. The weak point must surely be the sharing of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement and that of the murder cult, but eventually it's certain to fracture our fragile alliances. Clearly all three nether stones must be controlled by a single leader, me by preference, dictated by General Catherine. But not until, and this is, is this Catherine's room, or is this Balthazar's room, or whatever? Uh, but not until after their stakeholders have made their central contribution. Gortash fears that, energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the app. I was gonna say, okay, I almost said it at the beginning, but it was like, our control, our dear, to enslave an little bit over brain and make it our marionette. Like, that sounds like they've got, and it is, they have got an illithid elder brain. So that's how this is all tiny. Why didn't my, my parasite hasn't said anything, or what, not my parasite, my artifact hasn't said anything. This is just telling us right now that this is like an illithid elder brain under control of something nether stones i don't know uh will eventually metamorphose into something new and more difficult to control if he's right they need to invest the power of the nether stones in a single will it was urgent even more so in that enver gortash at least must be thinking the same way so maybe the absolute has gotten out of their control already or it's working on it so it's not even a god by or a goddess it, it seems to be called she as far as I know, the illithid, like the elder brains and the illithids in general, don't have any gender. They only reproduce by, like, parasiting, you know? Um, they are sexless. Um, nether stones. Dark energies of the crown. Under the control of the crown of, crown of Carcist. And the Ballist, oh, they're the murder cult. The Ballist, because Ballist, the bird god of murder. Yeah. Oh, uh, why is nobody saying anything? Oh, that's right. Careful, I bind. Simple. Yeah, well, you say that, but. Well, apparently, it is compared to the door we just got in. Okay, so, absolute. Although we are having to deal with uh, at least a few instances of entities who are trying to become godlike. Catherine's trying to become a god, I think, right now. Um, Gith, or not Gith, um, oh my gosh, what is her name? Not Lolth, either. <laughs> um, the Vlacketh, yeah. <laughs> she is a goddess, kind of, but, like, needs more, or, like, in order to, like, rise higher, she has to, like, eat her people or whatever, you know. Anyway, ooh, Cloak of Elemental Absorption. That's cool. Letter to Kethrick. My darling husband, oh my gosh, I know my time is drawing near. I don't want to leave you, I don't want to leave our little girl, but I'm not writing to lament our lot, it's ours and no others. Though the city of judgment is dark, I know our lady's light will find me even there. I will see her shining spires and walk the silver gardens we've both dreamt of. I will go to my reward and leave quite a task to you yet, my heart. Saloon's light shines bright in our little one, but she will need a guide to keep her on the path. I have no doubt that she will keep you on yours. It is the same path, our lady's path, and one day I know it will bring you back both to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye. There is no loss in my temporary separation. How I love you forever, Melodia. Why, that's almost beautiful. Yeah. Imagine what she'd think if she saw him there. Yeah. Thank you, Catherick. So this is Catherick's room. Why he's right next to... Oh, and that, that's why Asterian had something to say. Because he's the one who technically read it. Why Catherick's room is right next to the murder man's room is beyond me. There was that door. How much Where farther went? can I so go? So we went... I didn't want to go in there. Because that's going to lead into this, like, room here, and I'm not ready to go in there yet. 
I wonder if there is a secret room. There has to be a secret room. Something needs to go into the ancient altar. What goes, what, a bone? Like, what do you want from me? A key? A key, a key. I wonder if Shadowheart had, no, Shadowheart didn't have the keys because we were trying to open the door. Where did the keys go? Like the moon rise keys. A heart? Oh. Let's see if we can get a heart. I'm not putting it in my inventory. I think I actually need to. Okay, let's try a heart. Hmm, I'll take that. This guy seems pretty spooky, so. a reason for hearts. There had to be a reason that there were hearts around. <laughs> oh, oh, secrets of the necromancer. <laughs> How satisfying. I agreed to get some materials from beneath the tower. I plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the mausoleum itself, but the general prefers that no more of his family crypts be disturbed. Even so, I may have no choice. The temple will not surrender the night song easily. Oh, and the general's invulnerability depends on it. I am sure you will forgive a little transgression if it frees the army to move on Baldur's Gate. At last, so he's after the night song, too. Uh, Kethric form is the temple. Does it mean that the Sharon temple? This night song sounds oh, like the source yep, of yep, yep, yep. The very same night song that Aradin once sung. Yeah. Could it oh, be? so does does he already have it? Maybe that's it sounds secret. powerful, no matter the name. If we find it, we can turn it against yeah, it. Yeah, but apparently I'm not supposed to. Yeah, I'm not supposed to do that. I'm not supposed to get the secret first. Ugh. Whatever. Meh. Hardly a challenge. Hardly a challenge. He just said, hardly a challenge. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're rolling 32s now. Oh my goodness, a hat. Necrotic resistance, sure, you can put that too. A broken moon lantern. I am, I, I am gonna now. pick up this book. I don't think I need the books. More for me? Oh, maybe it's I should. Over. Yeah, it's I'm free. not gonna. The necromancer was experimenting oh. on Is the Is that what you poles. see? I'm glad I walked right here. But they were already imbued oh, with Netheries. Magic. Netheries! So where did that magic come oh, from? Oh, so the, that's right. That's the story Gil told us. So the Nether Stones are from that ancient city with that guy who wanted to become a god. Okay, that makes sense. We have like these stories of entities wanting to become gods, and so we have the artifacts that are potentially associated with that. And of course, it would show up here with Catherick, who's trying to be immortal. Well, he is immortal. He's, he is immortal right now. He's just not a god, but he's immortal. He can't be killed, at least it seems like. Um, Okie dokie. So our parasites have Netherese magic in them. Well, I think I think then that uh, Gale's little mark, his bit of Netherese magic, should have eaten the parasite. That would have been great. A ritual circle. Hmm. Broken moon. Dead pixies. Oh. A ritual circle. Looks like it was used in the crafting of moon lanterns. That's gross. That's horrifying. I don't want to sit in this. A seat that has seen yeah. many occupants, none of their own volition, and none in comfort. Goblet with dead tentacles. Come on. 
do something. No? We're not gonna do anything about it? I am ready. Whatever may come. Oh, okay. Still alive. Well, so that's, that's progress. how he's been I guess he was experimenting by pulling the tadpoles out and um also doing moon lantern stuff here. I don't know. I feel like your, your experiments are mixing. He has such a tight space. Like, this guy is not very scientific. He's not keeping his stuff separate. He's not keeping his work life separate. And he's not even keeping his, his experiments separate. He's got tadpole experiments over here and not five feet away. He's got manic pixie dream girl freaking experiments going on over here. With haste. And night song stuff right here. Freaking man, his freaking. His methodology is poor. <laughs> I, I, I slap him for that. I censure him for his poor scientific inquiry processes. Um, okay, okay, okay. I can't believe Catherine's like, yeah, no, it's totally chill to be like right here. Okay, so this leads into that room, but we have this secret door over here. Ah, okay, now I, this door can ostensibly be broken down. Let's see. I have taken the Moonrise Guard key from Will using Magic Pocket. It was Will who had it. Hello? Hello? This room is spooky. Is this his daughter's room? Oh no, it's this is what, oh my gosh, this is what I get. I was doing so well, I was entering rooms safely, and then, not this one. Anyway, um, also the whole thing about the daughter, right? Like, oh, I know she'll keep you on the path, and you need to keep her on the path, but he apparently, like, resurrected her too. Like, I'm gonna feel really bad for this girl. Like, I think, like, she, she's been resurrected, like, kind of against her will or whatever. Like, that's real sad. Well, it's a good thing these guys were on top of things. A stained letter. I knew it! It's Isabelle's room! Oh my gosh! My darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins and picture myself in a, a picture myself a enormous, opaque, a silvery shield. Surrounding you, protecting you, I knew somehow deep within myself that no harm could ever befall you because I would not let it. Though the hay he was saying must pass into the city judgment soon, know this, darling daughter. I am always around you, I am always with you, and the moon maiden will never allow you to bear a burden you cannot carry. I love you forever, a love that has no death. Well, too bad the moon maiden's actually, like, like all the gods, apparently, just not ever doing anything. And these delicate shoes are very reasonable for dancing, romance, and perhaps even prancing. Who to give it to? Still me, even after everything. Crazy. Uh, but obviously she has not been me. in this room for a while. Melodia uh -huh. Salm, loving mother, beloved wife. Her light will never be forgotten. So I guess this could technically be Melodia's room, but I would imagine... I mean, she wasn't here when Moonrise Tower was built, so there's that. She was already dead. Roots. What? No, wait, hold, hold, hold the phone. Get back up there. Okay, this was apparent. I thought it was just like roots coming out of the... Oh, but look at that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's stuff, there's stuff. Hang on. I saw it, I saw it, but... Something good here, I hope. Death and divinity, a godly guy. Crescent moon earring. It's a selenite. Oh, no. Even gods can die after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. Yoink. Let's see. Oh, wow. There do be some... I mean, ostensibly, there would be, like, people out here, you know? Like, your stone chair, like, I am the leader, blah, 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 blah. And, like, have great pronouncements and whatnot, or have other people make great pronouncements for you. Um, but apparently, this is just 
as is. All right, down the roots. Is it a mimic? Do mimics like have that goopy, nasty ick going on? I mean, they do in their own mouths, but I didn't think they would like, and they're not really like crawling around through. It was the drow's fault. It can't be a mimic. Anyway, oh my gosh, I can apparently like, just walked through this room all the way over there I, ask you again, why am I, here? I can fix him oh the gooby stuff's over there okay it's in the walls over oh yeah 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 see okay um do you hate listen I'm at, I'm gonna walk through this way I don't want to go I don't I don't want nothing to do with what's going on in this room right now We can do it, I believe. A part of me thinks I can just leave some people behind. This is going to be a pain in the butt. I believe in you guys, come on. Don't make me waste a house and transformation. Uh, as long as I don't actually cl accidentally click on the ground. And just have my character eat herself off. Oh. Oh. Oh, you could just. You're not well what? Moonrise, and your presence hasn't gone unnoticed. Time to fight. Where is he? Is he on the ground? How did he know he's here? What? I am absolutely not. I am absolutely not, dude. I am not, no. There is no way they know he's up here. Like, I know if he was within this range, maybe down on the ground they would notice him. But for now, like, we are up high. I get it, he probably hit the range. But, like, no. 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 I'm gonna send Halson back. This is a pain. I'm sending Halson, like, despite the thematic nature of having Halson, which would be great, and I'd like to maybe bring him back before the big fight that I think is gonna happen. Um, for now, Halson needs to leave. Reliability! Okay, actually, this is actually not a bad reload, um, because I need to have... Let me make sure, sure, make sure I took everything I wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I saved. After having touched, or right, right before I was going to go down, but I do want to have... Well, let's see if I can... Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. So this is a secret room that just moved. Um, there's an eye. At first I was like, oh, an eyeball. Oh, no. But then there's a guard over there, too. Um, I don't know where. I wish. I wish. Aspen Lamentation. That's like a window. I don't know what you. I wish we could take the disguises. Like the, their armor and... Um, disguise ourselves with their armor. That would be so cool. Um, so I would be going into here and into... There's a room to the right. So we walk in and go into here. Whatever that is. Oh, but first things first. Freaking, if Halson's gonna be Thousand's gonna be trouble. I'm sending him back. Maybe we do bring Gale out for a bit. Poor guy hasn't been out. I could bring Carlac, but I'm, I'm hoping. Go ahead. To not... I'm listening. Oh, okay. The night song sounded useful. Could it save you from the orb's detonation? Alas, no. The charm Elminster granted me requires my death as the spark that will light the orb's fuse. Making myself invulnerable, immortal, or in any other fashion unkillable would render it useless. And gods only know what it might do to the orb itself. 
Still, I see no harm in learning what we can about this night song. And if we manage to find it, the harm will be all Ketherick's. So, well worth indulging our curiosity. I mean, maybe... Well, no, I was like, I could go now, maybe, I say, speculating. Because I have freed the prisoners, and from what I know, the prisoners would die if I finished the gauntlet. But... I'll get some specification on that, because at this point I'm probably in the field. So like, by the time this video goes up, I'll be in the field. Oh, yeah. Would that I could. Um, but your entourage is full. Magical. Magical. I just, it's wild that he says that with a straight face. Okay, taking Will out for his, um... Or Gale out. See, I can't... The gods are watching me. Gale out for his uh, monthly excursion. Um, what was I? Oh, yeah, I was gonna check. Whoa. Oh! There is higher we can go, I just found out. Well, how about that? Just by, like, my, my camera, like, flung itself around. Okay. I didn't already do that, did I? Oh, there's this door over here. I'm like, this is the one that's going to lead into that hallway that I don't want to go to, but there's this door, too. This one leads into a room that will hopefully not have... Well, let's see. Okay. With pleasure. Make somebody go invisible. I don't have how's it? I don't have anybody with in, with invisibility. Oh wait, Will has Here Will has some on. for two turns. He has two rounds of it. Okay. Well, hello. Oh, they don't. They would they not be mad if we came in? They are yell. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. I I didn't need to run from that other place. I just realized. Ah because they were yellow, not red. But I think, well, I say that, but I was worried because these doors are like off-limit doors, so I don't think I'm supposed to go in. Okay. Um, she didn't seem to get mad. Looking ahead. Okay. So, we are free to come in. Moving ahead. These rooms. And with that cliffhanger or no, we'll cut it off there. And this is a generic outro for the next couple episodes because I only want to record this once. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron who's gone above and beyond and is supportive of me in the channel, and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.